This should be the last play of the quarter. First and 10, and Ridley running right through the trenches. He's tackled at the 28. 15 minutes to go, and we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. The final quarter begins with this snap. They tackle him for a loss. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Ridley's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Tossing it to the running back. He steps out. Bad play call that time by the defensive coordinator. It's fourth and short. There's only a couple plays you know the offense is going to run. They were not ready, and they give up a big first down. First down here after the run. Brady's turning to look downfield now after selling the play fake. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down, and the pass is intercepted. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They Just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run, but how about this interception? Good job, good reading of the quarterback, and a nice catch. They come to the line, and it's first down. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time, they stopped that run just for a short game. Cooper is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Second and eight. Catch is made. The ball is jarred loose. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. That's what you call a takeaway. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense, and they recover the fumble. First down coming up. It's Ridley. Breaks the tackle. Ridley's out in the slot. 
Brady is in the shotgun. Brady able to find Julian Edelman. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Time is running out. The defense knows it's playing with the lead, but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock. Brady's got it in the gun. And he is brought down at the 45-yard line. These guys need to make something happen on offense with time beginning to run out. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. And he hauls it in. Breaks out of that one. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Ridley lined up in the backfield. Drives ahead and picks up maybe three or four. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. They're saying it's just a minor injury, so he should be back on the field pretty quickly. Brady's back in shotgun formation on the run. He's tackled at the 30. On the run. No game on the play. It'll be third down. Brady's going to take it from the gun. On the money. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Probably the easiest throw for a quarterback to make in the NFL is the curl route because you can see the receiver. His body is square to you. Drill it in there. Nice job. The Patriots coming to the line still have all three of their timeouts here in the fourth quarter. First and ten. And it's Ridley. Now makes the move to the right. Gain of seven. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? The Patriots come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. Second and three. Ball is caught, and that's a gain of 10. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Marching down the field and taking their time. First down, throwing again. Touchdown. At this game, just got a whole lot more interesting. 
If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. And that's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. Go run it off the toss. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. They had to go for two. They pull it off. And we've got a tie game late in the fourth. Every coach has two-point conversion plays on that call sheet. And the offensive coordinator that time dialed up the right one. in the slot. First and ten. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff, and that's a gain of nine. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Avance, a receiver in the slot. Second and one. Working that left side, in on the stop. The Eagles use another timeout here, and they have one left. Cooper's lined up in the slot. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Almost intercepted that time. The fourth quarter comes to an end, and we will need extra time put on the clock to settle this one. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. We'll send him to the 20-yard line. Receivers are bunched up. Here's the quick toss. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. That's second down coming up. Ridley going to lose yards here. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it costs his team yards lost. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. It's third and nine. Pump fake. The throw to the left. The quarterback throws it on the mark. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes, they go up, they make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. They've come out in a dime package. Second down, two to go. Edelman, nifty move past the defender. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get into secondary and make a big play? Right where it had to be. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. That reception gave them the first down. Throwing now to his left. Patrick Chung makes the hit. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Eyeing that left side. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Well, this one, an overtime thriller and a game-winning touchdown in the extra session. That is exciting, Jim. The offense playing.